first john 5:14 and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us nam edayagilum avarudaiya devunudaiya sithathin padi kettal avar namakku sevi kodukkar endade avarai patri nam kondirukkira dhairiyam greetings in the most holy name of jesus christ and here also we have a promise touching our prayer 1 john that is first john chapter 5:14 and this is the boldness we have in jesus christ that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us this is also a promise and encouragement but uh, here we have to read the previous verse and the following verse 5:13 and 4:15 the passage context is that you may know so i write these things to you who believe in the name of the son of god that is jesus the christ so that you may know that you have eternal life having the assurance of eternal life because it personified eternal life is jesus christ himself it is not a sort of everlasting life and so on it is a person who is jesus christ so having an assurance receiving jesus christ uh, into yourself to them this promise is given okay verse 514 is given and 15 and if you know that he hears god hears us in whatever we ask we know that we have obtained the request made of him as a child of god what is our requirement the by biblically the basic requirement is food and raiment that is repeatedly jesus has told in matthew 6 and 17 the illustratively he has uh, explained expository teaching if you had if you want to know let me know i'll just explain you paul also has said because in these days the men of god they are not having contentment godliness with contentment is the great gain life great gain life is godliness with contentment to be content is to have food for the body and clothes to wear that's what paul says and he is content therewith he says in the book of philippians and in the pastoral and leadership manual so we have to be so we will not be asking anything more than that but in our daily routine we will come across lot of things our children educations and so on so on and we may need uh, more money also god is able to provide everything beside the contented life god is able to provide but we will not spend in a wrong way whatever he provides and we have to take care of other poor people whom we are coming across also so there are lot of things which is falling within the will of god a true child of god will not go out of the will of god and ask if he also does not uh, claim he uh, god for anything else we have been saved by grace we were see in the adamic race we were uh, helpless sinners and enemies these are the three states from that god has saved us now we are helping and we are holy people not sinners and we are not enemies of god we are one and one with uh, god's family in and through jesus christ so we will never go against the will of god i believe so the believers also can be confident that god will listen to their prayers confidence means boldness or freedom to speak to christ they will be answered whenever they ask him for anything in line with god's will so god's will we can see john 14 13 for it says i will do whatever you ask in my name so that the father may be glorified in the son when you ask anything whether it will bring glory to god you have to think if in my name you ask me for anything i will do it jesus himself will do it he says john 14 13 14 john 15 16 you did not choose me but i chose you this is the children of god stands and i appointed you to go and bear fruit 
fruit that we launched so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name you see we bring glory to god by bearing fruit he planted us see anyone who plant a tree the tree has to give yield to the owner who planted it so that's what exactly it is an illustrative uh, example verse scriptural verse and if you see even john 16 21 to 24 when a woman is in labor she has pain because her labor has come but when her child is born she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world so you have pain now but i will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you on that day you will ask me ask nothing of me very truly i tell you if you ask anything of the father in my name he will give it to you so you can ask jesus christ directly you can ask the father in jesus name not in any other name okay god has no other name that's why he said i am the way the truth and the life no one come to the father except through me anyone who has seen me has seen me so it is father and jesus christ so how can believers pray that way how do they know what is god's will this happens as part of their growth in their relationship with jesus christ when people choose to place their will in line with god's will the holy spirit in them will teach them to understand god's will more completely the holy spirit reveals god's will as it is taught in the bible the holy spirit in turn helps them to pray in line with god's will the holy spirit in roman chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 jesus himself holy spirit prays together with us in groaning because we don't get words and we don't know as to how we should pray so holy spirit groans within us and it is praying on our behalf it says see how great it is in the as a child of god jesus himself was a model of this he taught his followers to pray for god's will to be accomplished on earth and he chose god's will over his own in accepting the bitter cup death on the cross if you happen to see isaiah chapter 53 600 years before jesus came on the earth from his father and it was prophesied it was the lord's will to crush him on your behalf and on my behalf so he took our sin upon him and also father placed our sin upon him and now he is cleansing your every transgression there are two sacrifices sacrifices of sin and sacrifices of offering he is fulfilling he will see that you stand blameless before god when christ comes so it was father's will for christ to die on our stead that is why he said the father crushed him for you and me so we also may have to suffer in the ministry when we are engaged in so let us not get frustrated but let us submit to god in communicating with god therefore believers do not demand what they want or think they need rather they discuss with god what he wants for them when believers align their prayers to god's will he is listening when they make their prayer request and since they know that god hears their prayers they can be certain that he will give them a definite answer praying in line with god's will is the key to getting what they ask for they should not think that they can obtain anything they want in order to benefit themselves prayer in the in line with god's will is prayer for the benefit of god's kingdom and the next verse illustrate the same thing so let us pray in line with god's will always and have our prayers answered so the emphasis here is on god's will not our will see both are both should not contradict our will naturally will merge with god's will and become one when we communicate with god 
we don't demand what we want rather we discuss with him what he wants for us so god's way for us is far better than us that's what we have seen in second uh, corinthians 12:9 also god's grace is sufficient the prayer was not answered for paul but god has a better thing for paul so he was glorying in his weaknesses See, if we align our prayers with god's will or to god's will he will listen and we can be certain that if he listens he will give us a definite answer start praying with confidence so let us be always confident together with godliness and contentment okay because the time is now we are also living in the end time may god meets all your need your children need then your personal need your counterpart your wife's need and your family need and every need may god's but let us not lust after as uh, most of the people they do let not lust rule over the lust is the very sin or which is called the inus it is not the selfish prayer but the prayer according to god's will and have your prayer answered let me also pray according to the will of god and as many as that i used to we used to pray for many people those who are uh, sick and sometime they come with a prayer i have this prayer immediately we direct the prayer to the lord and he will answer them and they glorify and the name of the lord be is also glorified so let us live a christian life or the life of a child of god for the glory of the lord in jesus name we bless and abide in him and wait for him and stay blessed